Hello, this is UberS, which is my known screen name, and today I came across an old, old forum post from like November of last year. And this girl had a question about, you know, my vertices won't come together, they won't weld, they won't connect, why? And she even tried to go ahead and bridge the, uh, the edges instead of trying to connect the vertices and that just makes things worse and this is a common problem I've had to answer this question several times and it's just easier to go ahead and make this video and kinda show you exactly what's going on why are they not working the way we think they should work and you know it's not because Max hates you or anything like that <laughs> which a lot of people come to to say which I think is funny but um, no that's not the case it's just how things work and right now I am setting up my demonstrations as you can see I'm going to do the cylinder last because that's a little more complex. Um, I'm doing three different demonstrations because it, there's more than one way you can come across this problem and there's more than one way to fix it. So this is just, bear with me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm turning this into edible poly. Now these have to be the same mesh in order to connect them. So I'm just going to attach these. I'll do the same with the boxes later and I'm going to make a copy of that later and attach that as well because it has to be the same mesh. These are the same mesh but they're still two separate elements which I'll get into with the boxes. Now we can connect these vertices super super easy if we wanted to but let's say we were to play with this bit and we made something spectacular of it some something really creative and it got turned around that's basically what's happened to all the meshes in this case you can see the top versus the bottom plain as day. In most cases you won't be able to see that because you know it like with the cylinder over here you still see the green on the inside especially if I were to um, let me go ahead and do that now I'll take this I'm going to make the copy of it Okay, edible poly, and I'm going to attach it to the outer side. Now, as we spin around, okay, we can see the green on the inside as well as the outside. So, yeah, now you won't be able to tell which side is which. You don't know what's the top and what's the bottom of the poly. That's essentially what has happened to your mesh when you cannot get it to connect and I'll show you an example if you have not seen this before of how this works let's see we'll, we'll select those two vertices we'll collapse them just fine it works great the next two collapse wait a minute it's not working why not that's because we can collapse these and collapse these if we wanted to but these we will never be able to collapse because this is flipped over I'm going to undo this so it, it's not it, it's trying to I guess you say connect the top side with the top side rather than top and bottom 
it doesn't like to go upside down. <laughs> Let's see, if we were to take these two edges and bridge. Now that looks awful, a mess. Really. And here's the thing, when you're bridging two edges, which is what we've done, it creates one face, one polygon. That's not what it looks like here. It looks like we've created three triangles, but you know, we've created one square because we've connected two edges and four vertices. That makes one face. What happened is this got twisted. Let's select all these. I'm going to deselect that in the middle. Let's flip this back over and you will see You see it's already unfolding. And see? Now you can kind of see why these pieces were not connecting as well because before we were trying to connect we at least visually we were trying to connect these two vertices but actually what we were asking it to do we were saying okay let's connect this vertice to this one and it says now wait a minute that's just not how it works if you're going to connect this vertice or let's see this ver vertex if we connected these two on the outside or actually we flipped it rather so we were connecting these two collapsed. That's what we would have gotten if it were in that way, but essentially it was like this. And then we were asking it to collapse from here to down here. And it says that is not a face, that's not a, a polygon, that's not anything, it's not able to do that. Okay, I hope this is making some sort of sense. If not, we can come over here. Now for the box demonstration. What am I doing? Making an edible poly and we're going to attach. Now, okay. I haven't flipped the box over, so it should work, right? You know, we have these two different elements, just like we did with the plane, or so we think. Let's try to collapse this one and this one. It's not working, obviously. Well, Let's try with the top one. Nope. And even if we selected all four of these and just tried to bring them all together, they collapse within their own element, but they don't connect to each other. And this might get really confusing, but actually what it is is each piece this element here, that when you can't connect it to anything, that's its way of saying, I am complete, I am whole, I'm a whole element. There's nothing more you can do adding to me to, to make me more complete. Every single edge has two polygons on either side of it. And um, if you looked at it from any angle, there's no way you could see the inside of this box because it is complete it's whole it's it's I guess you say the whole, the whole pie and so what more does what more could you do to it so what you gotta do we're going we want to connect these so we really don't need this polygon 
for this one. Now we're in business. Because no, they're no longer complete holes, so they'll accept anything you do to these edges. Oops, I need to move it. Go to vertices. And they collapse just nicely. See? So we can select these two and collapse them. That's beautiful. It's working beautifully. But let's say you wanted something else where you needed these to bridge rather than collapse. We'll go ahead and yeah. this is where it gets interesting, I guess you would say, or complicated. Because when you bridge these, it doesn't do the same thing as collapse by any means. Now it is completely going wild. And that's not what you wanted it to do. If you were to try to do these individually, it may work. Say if we were to say, okay, this one and if it would let me select. It's not letting me select for some reason. Okay. Bridge. Okay, it's working just fine that way. But when you want to do them as a whole, it's not going to work. It's going to be twisted because it kind of says, okay, this is a mirror image of this polygon. And it doesn't want to be together. It's kind of like the opposite to track thing, but more emphasizes on the exact same doesn't attract. Now let's see if we were to bridge this. Okay, that works if you do them individually. But if you just decided to bridge them all at once, either be prepared for a little bit of a twist or something that you can work with. Now with the cylinders, this is this is the one I've had to address the most often because it's usually with cylinders and and more complex objects that people are working with and this one is it's a lot like the plane we were working with we can connect we can connect these two vertices collapse but the next two won't work they just don't like each other but we can do these two. Now, let's say this was a really complex object and we couldn't take the whole element inside and we couldn't flip the whole thing over like we did with the plane. It, if it were more complex and you know waves and bumps and let's say it was in the shape of a shoe or something like that you could not just flip the thing with the rotate you couldn't rotate it over however what you can do is you can go into the polygons I'm going to select all the polys and then I'm going to deselect the outside Make it easier. Okay, now we've got the polygons that are not cooperating with us. 
They just don't want to work with us. We'll take them and flip them. Now, let's say if we wanted to bridge these two. Beautiful. It's working perfectly. Or say, wanted to collapse it and make it kind of a pointy top. We can do it now and go all the way around if we wanted to. So I, I think that pretty much sums it up of how you can fix this. You can either rotate your polygons around physically with the trans transform tools here or you, if you have a more complex object that you just cannot do that with simple way is to select the ones that you're having issues with and just flip the polygons within this rollout here the edit polygons and also like with the boxes you have to make sure that you know you're working with pieces if you're working with a complete whole object then it's not going to communicate with another complete whole object even if they are attached alright I hope that helps